It may seem lame, but this is easily my favorite piece of adventure fishing gear. Let me explain why. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm actually doing a giveaway. And it has nothing to do with this PFD. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. When I'm out there, I wanna have everything at hand. I don't like searching for stuff. And also, when you're adventure fishing, you don't wanna carry a bunch of stuff or have to carry like more bags than you need to and more gear than you need to. I'm gonna show you what's in my PFD and how it helps me with adventure fishing. By the way, my name is Ben. I'm a paddlehead and I like adventure fishing. First thing, the knife, the safety knife. Whenever you're dealing with heavy rope and water, it's usually a good idea to have a safety knife at hand. If you happen to capsize or you get into some rough waters and something happens, you get wrapped up in your rope in water, recipe for d disaster, especially if you're river fishing. If you're river fishing, you need a knife. The current rope gets messy. So this is the Nico blunt knife. As you can see, I got a blunt tip on there. I'm not gonna be running white water with this knife, so I wanted a quick, easy release. There is a co-pilot knife where there's like a more uh, harder to get out knife, but it's a little bit more secure if you're running white water. I recommend that instead. On the shoulder here of my PFD, you never know how late you're gonna be out, and usually the fish start biting right around dusk. So you don't wanna push yourself to try and get home too soon. So I've got this extra light on me here, so I just kind of turn this dial, tighten it down, and you can't see it probably in the daylight, but this brights, uh, uh, this light's on, turns on, brights up. You know what a light does? It does that. Well, I can switch the battery around and I can also have it flash. So if I'm in distress, I don't know if I'll be pulling out the battery and switching it around, but if I have that moment and that clarity of thought, I can switch it around and have it be a strobe. Moving down. These little pockets on the outside here, these things are super useful. In here, I usually keep a lighter, but I misplaced my lighter. Got a light, uh, but I also have these uh, fire plugs. So I like to keep these. These are the Bushcraft uh, fire plugs. They are waterproof, they are natural, they're not gonna stain stuff. I've been keeping these in my PFD for uh, quite a while now, and I haven't had any issues with it like staining the material or anything, so that's cool. Um, and also these can get wet and they'll still light and they'll light with a spark. You don't need a lighter. You can just use a ferro rod, which I do have in here somewhere. You'll see. Over here is usually my garbage pocket. And I, in fact, I do have a bunch of garbage in here. A wrapper from a protein bar and old grub. Also my tag ends. I don't like throwing my tag ends in the water. I just feel wrong doing that. So. On this side, we got the pliers. It took me a while to find a pair of pliers that kind of work. Now, these are not like the best pliers. I wouldn't recommend these pliers, but they work for this. The problem I had with this vest is any kind of pliers that were too long, you can see it pokes out the bottom here. And as I was paddling, my arm would get caught on that and plier tips don't feel nice. Not on the inside of the arm, that's for sure. So I got these, they're not great for removing hooks, but. I mainly want them for split rings. These are not gonna be removing hooks from musky. I've got other tools for that. These are just for split rings, changing out hooks, changing out split rings, yada, yada, yada. Not a huge fan of this setup here, if I'm completely honest. Does the job, it's all right. So, into the pockets. Both of these pockets are actually kind of cool. They fold out and then they kind of suspend just like this. There's some uh, webbing here or some, something like that so that you actually have like a little bit of a table here. So super useful for fly fishermen, if you're tying stuff, trying to do some work here, or if you're uh, doing some like bass rigs and you've got some weights out and some hooks and you've got a bunch of stuff you're working with, this is great. You can stand and do it. You can, yeah, it's awesome. In here, you've got this little zippered pocket. So I usually keep my cell phone in here so that I can open this up and I know my cell phone's not gonna go spilling out. Keep it in there, little lanyard in here, and I usually keep my keys on that. I also keep a tape measure in here ever since I've caught uh, some big fish and realized that I wanna get some measurements. I've got a tape measure in there. I know it's not super accurate. I just, I just want some measurement. And then I have this little safety tool in here. I don't know if you've seen these little survival tool card things. Just has some nut things on there, bottle opener bit of a blade, sharp edge, uh, saw thing. Anyways, just like a, keep like a Swiss Army knife or like a multi-tool. I would recommend keeping a multi-tool in here for sure. Maybe something better than that. Here's my ferro rod. I always have it in here with a striker. Ferro rods will go even when they're wet. So that's ideal. This is awesome, useful. And then this, I usually take this out and put this on my sunglasses. These, these are floating chums. So if my shades do take a dip, they'll be floating and I can retrieve them. Because when you spend good money on glasses, 
you just don't want to take that risk. At least I don't. You could be a risk taker. In this side, I have my GoPro batteries. These aqua packs are actually super useful. This is called the Keymaster, but they have different sizes for different size phones. Um, but I like the dryness. This is a dry pack. I've been submerged with this. I've swam in rapids with this, with batteries in there, no issues. But it's easy to unlock these two little tabs here, push them up, and then open it up, close it, and it's sealed. Put it away. And there you go. That's how I switch my batteries out when I'm recording with my GoPro. Super quick and easy. Lately, I've been keeping a rag in here. So slimy fish like musky and pike. Sometimes you just want something to wipe your hands. Also, when you're dealing with camera equipment, you usually want to dry your hands first before you touch your equipment. So I like to keep a rag. I've got a few of these kind of stashed throughout the boat, my tackle box and this PFD. <laughs> Moving right along here, we have uh, my whistle. So legally, you always need a whistle. And I recommend a peeless whistle because when it gets submerged, it's a lot easier to like get it to start making noise. Anyway, safety whistle. I don't have any more rope than I need just to get it to my mouth. I don't want to blow too loud. That's just obnoxious. So that's in there. And then in this little pocket here, it's got some lip chat and that's about it. Uh, full disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video, but the giveaway that's happening in this video is kind of sponsored. I'll explain. So as you probably know, I do multimedia for Front Neck Outfitters. Well, when I was there filming something one day, one of the sales rep from NRS actually popped through and he had just finished doing a whole series of shows. And he had actually brought this with him on the show to kind of demonstrate what the PFD is. Yeah, I'm filming this right beside the road. So there's people like driving by and watching me. So when I was out at Front Neck Outfitters doing some filming, Brian from NRS, one of the sales reps came through and uh, was dropping some stuff off. And he said to me, hey, you like fishing. Do you need a Chinook? I'm like, no, man, I actually have one and I love it. It's awesome. It's great. It's like, hmm, he's him and hawing. And I was thinking, you know what? I wanted to tell you about this awesome PFD and how much I loved it. So I thought I could do a giveaway. So I said, Brian, can I just give this away to one of my viewers? And he's like, yeah, sure. I am giving away an NRS Chinook PFD courtesy of NRS. So as you probably can tell, I really love my PFD. I get excited to put it on. It breathes really well. I could go on about it, but I won't. So if you want to win this PFD, all you got to do is comment below, make sure you're publicly subscribed to Paddleheads and read the details. There is some fine print, some legal jargon we got to follow. All that information will be in the description below. In my opinion, there's no better way to be safe on the water than to actually wear your PFD. And there's no way you're going to wear your PFD unless you actually want to and are excited to wear your PFD. So I hope you're excited to wear your PFD. I hope you get excited, load it up, make it yours, personalize it, love it, and it'll love you. All right, we'll catch you later.